So recently I came across a hacker news article and it was of this website here, uh, themes.vscode.one. What this website allows you to do is create your own VS Code themes, but you, using basically just a GUI. So it makes that super simple. So in this video, I wanna go over how you can kind of do that using this website here, and then how we can turn this into a VS Code extension and uh, publish it on the VS Code extension marketplace. So let's get right into this. So navigate over to this uh, themes.vscode.one website here. And let's just go through this real quick. So when you first come to the site, you're gonna have to create an account. Uh, I think you can use GitHub or something is what I did. And then the first thing you're gonna see is this create new theme button. So if we click on that, we can pick a uh, light or dark mode and we'll choose uh, dark mode here because we're not psychopaths. Then we see you uh, this button pop up that says create theme. We can click on that there. And then it's gonna take us over to this page and just show us what our theme will look like. And this left side, so we have all these different options here for different colors and whatnot. So if you see, you can change this, it's gonna open up uh, this panel and you can choose a different color here. And then our changes here will propagate kind of automatically. So if we go to the activity bar, let's change this just to red. We see that changes right there. So basically all of these different things. So that looks great. Uh, you could, a lot of different stuff you can customize. So you can get pretty, pretty detailed with your customization. So once you're done that, you can come over and save the theme like this, and it'll bring it over here and it will save it for you. Now, the other thing we can do, if we go back to the main page, is see all these different ones um, that have been created before us. Now, if we saw one that we were uh, interested in, uh, say we were into this one, we could click on it, and you can just fork this here, and it'll create a copy of the theme, and then we can edit it from there. So we can say create theme, and that's gonna bring us over and populate all the different values on this side here. So we can change these around, scroll, scroll bar here, we can change it to red, whatever, whatever you like. You can go through and change it however you might want. Okay, so once that's done, say we save this theme again, and that is basically all it is. And to download this, you would press this button here and you see if we do this, it's gonna download the file as a JSON file. And then now we can go through and publish this as a theme on the marketplace. So uh, I think on the FAQ contact, if we go over here, it kind of takes you through how do I publish this theme in the VS Code Marketplace? And then you can just go through these different steps. So in order to generate our VS Code extensions, we're gonna have to uh, download something else here. So come over here and we're gonna paste this in. So we're gonna go npm install uh, dash global G and then yo, and then it's generator dash code. So let's install that. Then once that's installed globally, you're just gonna run this command, yo code like this and this CLI tool is gonna to pop up and it's gonna ask you what type of extension you wanna create. It's a bunch of different things, but for us, we're gonna choose this color theme here. So let's click on that. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna start fresh or import an existing theme. Um, so for us, we're gonna start fresh. So the first one, no start fresh. And then we wanna name our extension. So we'll call it, uh, we'll call it Dark uh, Darwin. And the identifier can be the same, Dark Darwin, like that. And then the description uh, will go Dark Theme from Darwin uh, Tech. And then what's the name of the theme to show to the users? We'll say uh, Dark Darwin. And then the, the select the base theme, which is we're gonna switch out, but we'll just say Dark for now. Initialize a Git repository. Uh, no, we don't need that right now. So now we can CD into that. So CD into Dark uh, Darwin, it's like this. And we'll open it up in our uh, VS Code. All right, then this is what we're gonna be uh, left with. Let me open that up. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna say themes and in here, Dark Darwin color uh, theme. 
So we're gonna replace this file with the theme we created on the website and downloaded that JSON file. So wherever you saved that uh, JSON folder from the website that we created earlier, um, go and copy that over. So for me, uh, open this up here. Uh, I'm gonna copy everything in here. So copy that. And then I'm gonna paste that in here. All right, so now let's come over. I'm gonna run a few more commands here to uh, publish this. So let's clear this. So the next command we wanna run is gonna be VSCE and we're gonna say package and this is gonna package it up for us. And it says we're missing a publisher's name here. So we got, we got to add a publisher's name. So in order to add a publisher's name, we have to actually create that. So you can go to this link here and it'll tell you uh, how to do that. Or you can just come over to the marketplace.visualstudio.com and uh, sign up for an account. You're gonna have to do that. Sign up with a Microsoft account and then uh, actually create a publisher. So this is our publisher here. Uh, we could create another one, but we'll just use this one here. And then once you have your publisher's name, which will be this uh, value here, um, you can see it here, come back over to our app over here. And we actually wanna add that name in. So come into your package.json here, and we're gonna come over here and put uh, publisher like this. And then inside here, you're gonna have the name of the publisher. So for me, that's Valdez like this. And then I'm gonna save that. And now we go back and we can run this VSCE package. It's gonna ask us about our readme. So next we wanna come into our readme here. All right, and then inside of this readme here, basically you wanna put a few different things. So you have like an explanation of the functionality, maybe a GIF or a screenshot to show uh, what, you are, what your app's all about. Um, maybe a link to the the code or the website, um, and uh, yeah, so things like that. All right, so we just added a couple of things. Uh, we got a display name and then a description, but basically add whatever you like. So go ahead and save that, and then let's come back over here, and let's run this again here. And we don't have a repo, but so you might want to add that as well, uh, but for us, we don't really care right now, so we'll just say yes. And then that seems like it worked good. So let's check it out right now. So you can see here this uh, dark Darwin with the uh, file extension of VSIX here has been created. And this is what we're actually going to upload. All right, so the last thing you wanna do is come over back to this uh, marketplace here, Visual Studio Marketplace here. And you're gonna navigate to this manage slash publishers slash whatever your uh, name is here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this new extension button here. And let's uh, make this a little bigger. Okay, so we're gonna click this new extension and we're gonna go Visual Studio Code. Then we can drag and drop your file here that was created for us. So I'm gonna come over, I dragged this to my desktop a second ago, but we're gonna drag it in here. And it's gonna upload and we'll press this. And then that is basically all there is to it. And it's gonna verify it and take a while, uh, potentially. So we'll let that go ahead. We'll probably actually delete this because you don't want it. But that is basically how you are gonna publish this on uh, the VS Code Extensions Marketplace. So hopefully that's useful. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one.